What's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Skate Park Lessons with me, JB, here at the Sunnyvale Skate Park. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the five most important street tricks for a beginner skateboarder. Check it out. I'll be teaching these five tricks in an order so that each trick builds off of the last trick. This should make it easier for you to understand and break down the process for learning the following trick so you can skate better, faster. Remember, the sooner that you can comprehend the way a trick works and break down that process in your mind, the closer you are to learning that trick yourself. These tricks may seem very simple, but they are important building blocks to all types of intermediate and advanced tricks. For today's lesson, it really helps if you can Find some clean, smooth concrete to learn on. Skate comfortably. Lean your head forward and step off of your board while riding. Step off of your board and into a knee slide. If you don't know how to do any of these, please refer back to my pushing video and knee slide video to catch up. Here are the things you guys should do. Learn these tricks on a nice, clean, smooth surface. Wear pads and a helmet while learning the basics. Balance is key, so remember that your body goes where your head goes, especially on a skateboard. Have fun while learning and try to learn with a group of friends so you guys can inspire, encourage, and help each other while you're learning. Here are the things you guys shouldn't do. Do not fall backwards. Always try to lean forward and get to your knee pads or spin to your back. Don't give up. Everybody messes up and falls. Be persistent and commit when you get that good try in. The first thing I'm going to teach you is lifting your front wheels up and off the ground. Push off and into a slow speed and stand on your board in riding position. Remember that riding position is with your front foot over the bolts and your back foot on the tail with your heels and toes matching equally on your skateboard. While slowly rolling, look down at your skateboard and extend your arms out so that they are matching your skateboard. Now rock your hips forward and gently push on the tail so that your head centers over your back wheels and your front wheels begin to lift off the ground. Here's how to bail if you mess up. If you get sketchy, try to lean forward and practice running off your board. The pro tip for this trick is you can also try to lift your front knee while in riding position if you need extra help getting those front wheels to lift off the ground. Next, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do no stalls on a curb. Once you trust lifting your front wheels up and off the ground, next you're going to do this into a curb so that the nose of your skateboard slides or lands onto the top of the curb and your board comes to a stop as your front wheels bump into the curb. To do this, I want you guys to start about 10 feet back from the curb, push off into a nice slow speed, and get your feet set up quickly in riding position. Now from riding position, I want you to wiggle your front foot up onto the nose with your feet matching. Now rock your front wheels up just before you bump the curb so that the nose of your skateboard lifts up just above the curb. As your nose lands on the top of the curb, bend your front knee and lean your head forward over your front foot so your back wheels lift up and off the ground. Once your skateboard levels out, lean your head back towards your back foot and drop off the curb and ride backwards. You can also add a fakie kick turn out if you'd like. How to bail on this trick. If you guys don't lift your nose high enough or you lean too far forward, just go with the momentum, lean your head forward and spin your chest forward and step onto the curb with your back foot. The pro tip for this trick is that this is the same motion required in order to learn no slides. So as you get better with your no stalls and your ollies, you can start to try this on taller ledges. Practice your ollie up and onto the ledge and lean over that front foot over the nose to lift the back wheels up and into your no stall. Next trick is how to rock up a curb. Start about 20 feet back from the curb and push off into medium speed and get your feet set up in your no stall position. Now just before you hit the curb, press a little harder on the tail so that your front wheels lift higher than the curb. This will allow the middle of your skateboard to smash into the curb. 
When your board stops, your body's gonna wanna keep moving from the momentum, so bend your knees down low and keep your head closer to your front foot and use your momentum to press strong on the nose of the skateboard to lift your back wheels up and clear the curb. Make sure you stay bent down low and recenter your head in between your feet to catch your balance and ride away. How to bail this trick, don't fight the momentum. Go with the momentum and lean your head forward past your front foot and spin your chest forward and step off your skateboard onto the top of the curb with your back foot. My pro tip for this trick, as you get comfortable and learn the timing of your lean to rock, do it faster. The additional momentum that comes from the speed will make this easier and smoother to get up the curb. My next trick is I'm gonna teach you guys how to drop off the curb with your front wheels first. Start far enough away from the edge of the curb so you can push off and into a slow speed. When learning this, you guys can go extra slow the first couple tries. Make sure to get those feet set up in riding position as soon as you can. Just before your front wheels ride off of the edge of the curb, bend your back knee low and lean your head way back over your back foot while keeping your front leg locked and strong. Do this to brace yourself since your board stops for a quick second as your front wheels touch down and off the curb. Now lock your legs strong so you stay with your skateboard until your back wheels drop off the curb. Now when your back wheels drop off the curb, you can go back into your relaxed riding position as you ride away. Here's how you guys bail this trick. Once again, I want you guys to go with the flow. Feel skateboarding and go with the momentum. Don't try to fight the momentum. Lean your head forward and past and over your front foot. Spin your chest forward and step off of your skateboard with your back foot first and into a light run. My pro tip for this trick is the faster you do this, the smoother and easier it will feel. Especially as you stay relaxed, you'll drop off fast and feel more balanced. This is also the same method used to ride down stairs if the stairs are spaced out correctly. Remember the most important part of this is to keep that front leg braced and strong and keeping your head back as far as you can over your back foot as you ride down stairs or off a curb. If you keep this motion, you can relax your legs and your legs will conform to the stairs and ride down on your board with your board and you keep your upper body stable and smooth. Now I'm gonna teach you guys how to drop off of a curb or a ledge all wheels together. I want you guys to start far enough away from the curb or ledge that you can push off and into a medium speed and quickly set up those feet in that riding position. Now bend your knees slightly and watch the ledge or curb. Just before your front wheels ride off of the edge, put your arms out parallel to your skateboard for additional balance. Now I want you guys to rock your front wheels up to hold your skateboard level and lean your head back closer to your back wheels and lock your body into a balance spot to let your board ride off the curb nice and smooth, keeping that skateboard level with your knees bent and be sure to bend down as you land with your head in between your feet to absorb the impact of the drop. Speed and commitment are the key to success for dropping off of ledges. Now I'm gonna teach you guys how to bail this trick. If you're not feeling it, stay on your board and let your front wheels drop off first. This will automatically stop your skateboard, but your momentum is gonna keep moving forward. So spin that chest forward, lean forward, take your back foot off and into a nice light run as you run off your skateboard. Remember, it helps to get you off your board if you lean your head over that front foot. Your body goes where your head goes, so stay forward. My pro tip for this trick is that the faster you go, the less time you'll have to hold your front wheels up and the less impact you'll feel when you drop off of that ledge or curb. Once this becomes comfortable, go ahead and try it on a higher ledge. Remember that speed helps with a higher drop and the faster you go into a bigger drop is the more you'll wanna bend those knees to absorb the impact of the drop. As you guys get better with dropping off of ledges, I want you guys to push yourself and try to drop off of down ledges. Remember, even though the ledges slope down, you need to level out your skateboard so it's flat as you drop off the ledge. Remember to bend down extra low and absorb that impact using your knees and not your back. Please share this video with some friends who you think would benefit from it and they'll be sure to appreciate you thinking of them. Please leave me comments, including any questions you may have, ideas or lessons for future videos, and feedback about this video so I can continue to do my best to help you reach your goals in skating.
Thanks again for watching this edition of Skate Park Lessons. I really hope you guys learned this lesson and got a better understanding of skateboarding. Please like my video and share my video. Remember to subscribe and I'll keep making more videos for you guys. Thanks again.